camel walks. There are, of course, many variations, but the classic one is the quick, quick, slow, um, popping out one knee, sliding underneath, stepping forward. That's the classic uh, that we learned today, and we added a few variations to it, make, mixing up the rhythms. Five, six, five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Song, swing like a rusty gate. Right, we're a little bit warmed up. We are going to do the camel walk today. So, what is the camel walk? Well, originally, uh, I mean, I'm sure it was done before then, but it was done in the 1900s, part of the, the cakewalk, but it was also done in the 1930s, in the 1950s. So, it's a popular step, and I suppose Michael Jackson did it in reverse because it's a bit like the moonwalk. But we're going to do just the feet first, we're just going to switch weight from foot to foot. Right up onto the ball of the foot, popping the knee forward, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. So we just do that one, two, one, two, one, two, and make sure you're going as high as you can. Two, three, four. So what I mean by that is I'm pushing the knee forward, right up onto the ball of the foot, digging the ball of the foot into the floor, and switching weight. So not this, that doesn't count. Right up, and one, and two, and one, and two. How are we doing with that? Yeah, pretty good. We've got that, excellent. Uh, then we're gonna add some shoulders. So we're gonna drop, when I step onto the right foot, I'm gonna drop the right shoulder and lift the left one up. And switch, 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 and switch. Like a bad shorty George. So let's, uh, let's actually step out onto the right foot. So stand on the left foot. I'm pushing off the right foot and I drop onto the left and I drop the right shoulder and lift up the left. 
and reverse. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one. Okay, can we do the shoulders two. on their own? So we want to isolate the shoulders, push one up and push one down. But the, the arms can be straight, you don't need to lift them to the side. I'm sort of making, uh, like uh, pointing the finger forward, like, uh, in a, like a shorty George. Try not to move too much of the body, but isolate the shoulders. Let's just do one shoulder. It's okay lift. if it's not too big, but it's, it, we're looking to only move the shoulders. Just lift one shoulder up and drop it down. Lift the other one up and drop it down. Lift up and drop. Lift up and drop. This time, just sort of push it down a little bit and push that one down. Now, one down, one up. And switch, and switch, and switch. And yeah, then that's better. Just take the hands a little bit out. So instead of being right next to the body, just take them out a little bit to emphasize the movement. And then Much also better. I try to also think it's happening here in the chest. So I can even lift the rib cage a little bit to make it even a little bit bigger. So not just the shoulders, now add sort of a tiny movement in the rib cage as well. Then we add it to the feet. So I get one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two yeah good then we can travel so i'm going to step forward i'm going to push off the left foot onto the right foot then i'm going to push off my right foot i push and step drop onto the left and push and step and one and two and three and four. Now you notice... But you're progressing, right? Yeah, now, now we're moving forward. Before I was on the spot, so you might want I'm going to, to travel. Move back a little bit if you have the space to do so. Uh, let me show you. I'm not traveling big steps, but the main thing is, as I push off one foot, I drop onto the other leg. And you might think it resembles the way a camel walks. Not that I've seen many camels. Spitting is optional. So one more time. One, two, one, two, one, two. So it's got quite a sharpness for the movement. One, two, one, two. How are we doing that? Yeah, that's Should we just try that good. to a blast of music? Sure, okay. Are you ready, Humpty yep. Dumpty? I'm gonna stand on the left. I'm gonna drop onto the right. Yeah. Five, six, seven, and one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's do four traveling, four on the spot. Five, six, five, six, seven, one, two, three, on the spot. One, two, three, four. Now, now those were all slows. We can actually do them in quicks, which is going to be a lot faster. Instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Let's do let's do four slows and then four quicks. Five, six, five, six, seven. Slow, 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 slow. A one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, I'll do it from the side. Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion between the Shorty George and the camera walks, I think, because um, a lot of emphasis is put on the fingers at the moment, but the, the specificity of the camera walk is those feet and the knee popping up. Yeah. The it's, hand, it's got a down feeling. Yeah, so the difference is with a shorty George, I'm pushing one hand down, I'm pushing the one up. Uh, more about the feet. Yeah. yeah, but in this, it's really just the, the hands don't move. The shoulders might move. So as Anna said, I'm concentrating on the, the trick. The trick of the camel walk is to push off one foot and drop onto the other one. Jump. And it, when you land, it's got a bonk and a dunk and a dunk. And a dunk. So almost you can feel it through your body. Dun, dun, dun. And then you have the crazy arms to shoulders to exaggerate. Okay. Let's so try that. that. 
Um, yeah, I think yeah, that's that's better. Keep that dun feeling. <laughs> dun. Two, three. Uh, music. stylize it uh, by making it um, a triple movement we're going to go you sort of step and you drop you're going to slide the back foot underneath and you're going to switch so let me explain that from the side I step out on one foot step or a drop we call it then I'm going to slide my back leg underneath the heel of the right leg so it better come up and then all I'm going to do is just switch weight so I can then step out the other direction. Let me do it from here. Let's do it together. So think of them th three movements. Which foot are you standing on? One. I'm pushing off the ball of the left foot, stepping down onto the right is number one. One. Great. Number two, as I pick up my right heel, I slide my left foot, uh, when I say underneath, it doesn't have to be absolutely underneath. I slide it up towards the right foot. Good. So now I've stepped on the left foot. And now what I'm going to do is just do a switch in place, switch. So that we practice at the beginning. Yeah, nice. Now I'm going to my left slightly with the left foot. That means I'm pushing off the right foot, dropping down onto the left. Number two, slide my right foot underneath. And then switch. Okay, good. good. It's working at, uh, at that pace. Good. Let me just do it once towards you so you see what it's like. So I'm going one, two, three. One, two, three. A one, two, three. Yeah? So I'm going to go step, slide, switch. Step, slide, switch. One more time. All slow steps this time. So we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 The important thing to remember is we want the first step to travel out. So my foot's going to slide forward in front of the back foot. The right foot comes forward in front of the back. And then I'm going to slide underneath with the back foot. And then I'm going to step on the spot. So I step out, I slide underneath, and then I switch feet. Together, one more time, we go. So pushing off the left, onto the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Five, six, step, slide, switch. Step, slide, switch. Step, slide, switch. How do? Good. Good. Okay. Shall we try that once to music? Sure. Same music? Yeah, same music's nice. It's quite good. Humpty Dumpty. Fell off the ball. Yeah, it's not full of ball. Six, seven. of the camel walk so I'm going to step in front of the camera so at the moment we have a lot of feet happening we need to get the feeling of the camel walk going into it with that drop so really think the whole body is going to come forward and then it's like lifting like you know when you um, uh, when you use a sweep and you sweep under and then you switch but every time the whole body is turning drop switch switch that's what we're looking for to get that camel impression let's bring back mr simonson um, we could actually do a teeny exercise 
that might just, so you don't have to think about it. Just think, step to the side, close, step. Side, close, step. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's like a side, heavy waltz. close, step. One, two, three. A oh, la, la, la. One, two, three. One, two. So that's going to be our feeling of one, two, three. Step, close, close. Step, close, step. Step, okay. close, step. Shall we add the footwork again? And I think that sweeping under, that sliding under is not quite happening. Let me do it from the side once. So I step out onto the right foot. Can you do it with me? Now, how do I sweep my left foot underneath? I'm not stepping up with the left foot, but I'm pulling from the right foot. So as I push the weight into the ball of the right foot, I just allow the left foot to shoop, move under. So it's that motion of transferring the weight, it's from the heel into the ball, zoom, and then change. Then, how do I step out with my left foot? That's not right, I'm pushing off the right foot, that means I'm pushing up, and that means I drop down. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Let's try it one more time. So we go, step, slide, switch. Step, slide, switch. I find it helps to add the shoulders because it gives me a bit of shape. Step, and I drop the shoulder that I'm stepping towards. Slide, I just stepped on the left, I dropped the left shoulder. Step on the right, drop the right shoulder. Step. Yeah, that's nice, everyone. Slide, switch, step. I can see a lot of thinking slide, happening. Switch. <laughs> Is it, do we need to build up the speed? Yes, a little bit. I think slowly we've got we've got everything, just uh, with, with it, a bit of a frown. Th thumbs up if it's sort of working, just need to build up the speed. Yeah, we've cool. got thumbs, thumbs up. Great, one more time. Five, I'm going to call out the foot we're stepping on. Five, six, seven, you go right, left, right, left, right, left. It's a step, slide, switch, step, slide, switch, step, slide, switch. Now, right. you can do this in several different ways. We can do it with all slow steps. So let's do that together. Once through, all slow steps. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So a slow step, two beats of music for each step. Now we can do it all quicks. It's looking really cool, by the way, on the screen. You're all together, and Anna and Matthew are next to each other. It looks really nice together. Yeah, it's a fun step. Okay, now we can do it all quick. So one step, one beat. So get ready. It's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Count us in. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, slide, step, step, slide, step, step, slide, step, step, slide, step. Nice. However, what we're going to do now is play with the rhythm. We're going to have two quick steps and one slow step. So we're going to go quick, slow, quick, one, yeah. two, hold. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Step, slide, hold. A step, slide, hold. Yep, so now we play with the rhythm. When you're dancing, you can actually alternate between any variation. So you might want to do slow, 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 slow. A quick, 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 slow, slow. A quick, slow, slow. Quick or quick, quick, slow, a quick, quick step. In other words, you can mix it up and that gives you a chance to play with the music. Um, but for now, let's practice one set with all slows. That's two, one on each side. One set with all quicks and then a quick, quick slow to finish. So three times through. Do you want the next song? Or uh, the same song? I think the same song is quite good actually. Okay, yeah, I think it's very good. All slows first. One, two, three. One, two, quick. One, two, three. 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 Slow. 
Actually, I have forgotten the third version, didn't I? Five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slap. Quick, quick, slap. Quick, quick, slap. One more time. Six, five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow. 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 All right. How is that? Does anyone have any questions? Any trick of it? Will we build, build it more? So. Many of you know the ABC format. There's a couple of you who are new to our ABC of Jazz. So every week we pick out a classic step from the vernacular jazz repertoire. Today is the cover walk and we break it down. We show you a few variations as well. So you can import it into your dancing, mix it with other step you don't know, or just build up your vocabulary of step. So okay. can, can I just stylize and give you a few options to play with? Yes. Okay, number one, you can be quite straight. You, you may. Quick, quick, slow. A quick, quick, slow. But you might decide to pike a little bit. So you might decide to pike the body, pushing the hips back to give it a sort of accentuated flavour. So you go quick, quick, slow. A quick, quick, slow. Yeah, so one is piking the body. Two you might want to angle the body a little bit more. So let me do it towards you. I'll do it plain first. So if I go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, or I might go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So I can actually really turn my body, just angle it a little bit more towards you. Should we give you one blast of music to play with angling? You can decide. Quick, quick, slow is a pretty good rhythm. This is quick, quick, slows, but if you want to do slows or quicks, that's fine. Try angles and piking. Ready? Six, five, six, seven. Watching everyone do this. Okay. Uh, another thing you can always do, and this is probably pretty obvious, you can increase you can either do it on the spot, you could go um, quick, quick, slow, or you could travel and really try and pop the knee out. You pop one knee out so you make it exaggerated and really try and make it quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, big steps, always having the shoulders. The other thing you can do is we can go back to an earlier style of the camel walk. When in fact it looked like this. But it's like a different step with the same name. It, yeah, it's from the uh, more of the 1900 style of camel walk. So again, it's that floppy ankles that a camel has. The hips are rolling side to side. You can place your back of the wrists on the hips, elbows slightly forward. Is that what camels do? Oh yes, that's what camels do. One hump or two. And one, two, three, or one, two, three. Now, there's oh, another dance. How do you get that rolling feeling okay. from the feet? So again, you have a lifting, spotlight on your feet. Spotlight on the feet. I'm lifting up the heel and I'm sort of rolling around the foot. So I'll try and do it in slow motion. And one. So I push the heel out onto the toe, bring the heel back in. So it's like a little circular action. Would you turn around so we can see your heels? Yep. And at the same time, I'm adding the hips. So the feet, as I lift the heel out, I leave the toe where it is, then I roll around and drop it down. And then the other one comes out and drop it down. Good. And then I add a little sway of the hips to make it bigger. And if you're really good, you can add the head. <laughs> We're not aiming for that yet. Now, some of you might be thinking, that looks like the snake hips. And in fact, you'd be correct. So the camel walk tended to progress forward, whereas the snake hips, by snake hips, Tucker tended to stay in place. 
So if you ever watch Earl Snake Hicks Tucker, there's a couple of YouTube clips, 1930s dancer. He's famous for his snake hips, uh, and it's pretty much the same move, just one travels. So let's try it again. We're not, we're not getting the integration of the hips and the feet very well yet. Okay, in slow motion, let's just do the feet first. I think the feet are Heel working quite well. comes out, yeah. rolls around, drops down. Heel comes out, rolls around. I try to think the knee is going as well. Then, as I step onto one foot to lift the other one up, the hips transfer from side to side. So I can see from behind, when you lift, let's say your right heel, your right hip is coming up, so you're pushing it up. It's almost like lifting your hip is gonna help. And then you put it down and you lift the left hip. Try to keep it, so if you turn to the side, Simon, Simon's not going too much forward and back. It's not like you're, you're not drawing an eight with your hips. Um, you're just going side to side like a little rocking motion. I'm thinking the eight is well, in one line. Yeah. It's not going forward. It's not diagonal eight. It's they come up, they drop down, they come up, they drop down. So if I just do the hips, it would almost be a little bit like this. Yeah, just nice, Helen. And you the arms are centering well, the, the hips movement. We're getting some good hips now. Now, to finish up, what we'd like you to do, if this is your first week, then you're just gonna practice camel walks, uh, either the old 1900 style or the more 1950s version. Um, but if you've been here, you've done things like fall off the log, fall off the log, and then into some camel walks, maybe switching, dun, dun, dun. You can do a short Susie Q, you can add short jaws. So try and add some of the other jazz steps we've done over the past weeks. 20, 29 yeah. weeks or something. 29 yeah. weeks. So yeah. any steps you can remember, add them in. But the main thing is make sure you do the camel walks. So should we try some music? Should we try yeah. another song? Oh, yes. We'll, we'll all start together. I'll start with quick, quick slows just to get us going. Or you can have no. the same song. It's no, good. no, that's fine. And did you notice when I ran that room, I turned in a circle? That's oh, allowed. It is going to be the same song, sorry. Yeah. I got a pocket, you had a big pocket. Five, six, five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. you have learned a very difficult step really the camel walks there are of course many variations 
but the classic one is the quick, quick, slow, um, popping out one knee, sliding underneath, stepping forward. That's the classic uh, that we learned today, and we added a few variations to it, make, mixing up the rhythms. And another thing that you did today is dance to an entire song that last time uh, we played the, whole, the, the song throughout. So you dance for three minutes with one step, with two steps, with all the steps you've got. Uh, so that's great, that's what it's all about. Thank you.